Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Jennifer Tomazzini and for today's video I'm going to do like a Dubai haul. So if you guys are interesting, let's keep watching. So guys, I have been in Dubai for those who don't know, I've been there uh, for about 10 days and if you guys want to see all my pictures, please uh, check out my Instagram. I have two accounts, I list it down below so you guys can check it and there are a lot of beautiful pictures I took when I was there with my husband and it was such a beautiful, beautiful place. It was the first time for the both of, both of us. Uh, we haven't been there before but we always wanted to go there so uh, we were really, really uh, fascinated and we didn't expect they will be so beautiful and such a beautiful experience. Uh, I love Dubai, I will definitely go back and yeah, it was an amazing, amazing experience. We went to Desert Safari and we saw a lot of stuff but we also took time for us to just enjoy the time with one another and just relax at the beach and at the pool and it was just an amazing experience and of course it was a little bit of shopping as well not as much as I thought I was gonna do but the stuff that I bought I'm really really happy there are some stuff from Bershka and some stuff also from Sephora uh, f at first I wanted to buy something from Hermes uh, originally but they didn't have it and I went in different stores I went to the Dubai mall the biggest mall in the whole world amazing store with everything absolutely everything but they didn't have my size in this Hermes item and I also checked in another mall the Emirates mall and they also didn't have it so it was not meant to be uh, I just text to my essay in Zurich in Switzerland and they do have what I was looking for so I think I want to purchasing in Zurich and of course it's a little bit less expensive than in Dubai because in Dubai the stuff are very expensive of course Switzerland is a very expensive country but I have to say Dubai it's a little bit more expensive but just a little bit not that much eh? but yeah food and also uh, designer items are a little bit more expensive than in Europe and of course Europe is the best place to shop designer items Items. everyone knows that so this you also have to take in mind but I thought if they have my if they have it I'm gonna buy it there but they didn't so uh, it's not a lot of stuff but I do have really beautiful pieces so let's get started and the first item is from um, a brand that I never heard before and the name is Garage and I just went to buy and I saw it this in on this beautiful mannequin and I thought this is really me it's like the perfect perfect uh, dress and i'm gonna show you right now how it looks so this one is the item i bought and as you guys can see it's a dress and it's like a midi dress it comes like until the knee and of course it's an off shoulder dress and it's exactly uh, right on my alley it's exactly what i want in a dress black it's my favorite color if you guys haven't seen before and it's off shoulder and of course it's like i think yeah it's a full length arm and it's beautiful it's a really good quality i have to say i think i paid 35 no 40 francs for this so it's a little bit expensive but the quality is very beautiful and exactly the name is garage yeah uh, this is the brand and the size is s and i will show you also how it look on me uh, so yes it's a beautiful beautiful dress i wear it in dubai one time when i went out with my husband to eat and i did pair it with a pair of uh, valentino um rock stock shoes that i have black shoes that I have that I have and I also pair it with my Hermes uh, CDC color the chain on and it looked so beautiful so I'm really impressed with this and also the quality of it so this one is the dress from garage looks like this and as you guys can see it's like off shoulders So I really love it and it's like a midi dress. I really love it. The next item I bought is from another store and this one is Bershka. Uh, for, for the guys who don't know Bershka, I think 
I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's an Italian brand and I always bought stuff when I was really small when I went to school in high school and uh, secondary school. I always bought stuff there because they have really unex uh, unexpensive stuff but very trendy. So you always look great and you have trendy stuff, but yeah, you don't have to wear it a really long time. But they have really good selections and um, that was my husband's fault because he said to me, they have here an item at the Dubai Mall in the Bershka uh, department store that it's sold out everywhere in Europe. And at the beginning when he showed me uh, the item, I was like, oh, I don't really like it. I'm, I'm not sure about it. It's not really my style. And then, of course, when he said it was sold out, oh my God, I fell in love with it. I don't know if he knows me so well. He knows that I want stuff that are always sold out everywhere. <laughs> So I tried it on and I fell in love with it and I bought it immediately. I'm so happy I bought it. He's like, he's the best. He's the best. It's like this. So I show you right now what I bought. So is this beautiful, beautiful jeans jacket from Bershka. And it's like warm inside, has like like kind of a fur, but it's not fur of course, like wide inside. And it also has like, I think it calls manchette like kind of material in like camel brown and here's the jeans jacket and of course it's an oversized jeans jacket i show you like this and then i will show you how it looks on me but yeah you see it's like oversized but the good part of this it's not the front but it's the back i show you how look how it looks it's oh, it's so beautiful are you ready it looks like this and it's like a girl on it. I think, let me check. It looks a little bit like um, Grace Kelly, but it's not Grace Kelly, but it looks a little bit like her. And it's just a beautiful jacket. Look, it looks so cool on the front and it's oversized, of course. And then on the back, it's just so edgy, so cool. It looks so high fashion and it looks really expensive if you look at it. Um, this was also kind of expensive for Bershka. I think I paid around 80 francs if I'm not uh, wrong, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it was 80 francs around, so it's kind of really expensive. But I have to say the quality of this, it's amazing, it's incredible. It looks really, really, it looks expensive and it feels really expensive. So I will show you how it looked on me. Of course, it's an oversized fifth and I have it in a size XS. I love it so much. So fell in love with it immediately. Of course, now for the weather, it's not really appropriate, but um, I will rock it anyway, right? <laughs> so I love it. So this one is the beautiful oversized jeans jacket from Bershka. As you guys can see, this one is size XS. It's very oversized. It looks really, really cool, right? Now I show you the back. Looks so cool. So next item that I also got from Bershka, uh, it's uh, also a basic, but you know, I really needed something like this and it's very difficult to find. I don't know why, because it's very basic but I love it. It's a cardigan. Now you guys, you cannot see it that good, so I will show you after how it looks, but it's a long, long cardigan, a little bit see-through, but not that much when, when it's on. A uh, long sleeve and it's very, very long. And I adore these cardigans for autumn. I feel like it looks so put together and you can really wear it with everything. Like dress it up, dress it down. It's just look impeccable. I do have it, one of these in like a beige color, nude beige uh, from Fashion Nova that I also adore. So when I saw this one in black, I had to have it. So I'm so happy with this. And this one is in a size XS and I think I bought I bought it for 20 francs approximately. So it was really good buy. So this one is the black cardigan. I don't know if you guys can see. It's beautiful. This one is from Bershka. And it's very, very warm and it comes also with buttons on the side, three buttons. It's a very beautiful touch and yeah, it's so beautiful, so comfy. 
you guys can see just simple one nothing fancy but it's so beautiful next is my sephora haul so what i got in uh, dubai uh, we do not have sephora here in switzerland we do have in manor it's like a big mall like a big mall so is it uh, it's a big mall where they do have sephora stuff and they have a sephora department but we don't actually have a sephora store in switzerland it just came into the manor like uh, mall this um the possibility to have sephora stuff in it uh so i'm really pleased with that so when i went to dubai i wanted to buy stuff that i can't actually buy uh, here in Switzerland. Of course, some stuff you can still buy in Italy and usually I buy all my stuff from Sephora in Milan because they have an amazing selection. The one in Paris is much better, but in Milan is also in impeccable. impeccable. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you right now what I bought in Dubai. So here it is. It's kind of small, but I do have really, really good pieces. So the first two items that I bought, that's why I went to Sephora at first because I wanted to buy this item. And this one is, and no, I'm not sponsored, <laughs> the Huda Beauty Concealer. So in one I have the cartons or the box, the other one I throw away, I'm so sorry. And I already use them because they're amazing. So they're Huda Beauty Concealer. I don't know if you guys can see yeah this one is the huda beauty uh, the overachiever concealer it also came to cult beauty uh, in the uh, english website you can also purchase it there online but you know for shipping and everything i thought i just buy it uh, on this in the store so i can also check what kind of um, um, shade i am so i bought two different shades uh, i have a girl that i follow on um, youtube her name is auntie she's a swedish uh, influencer i love her so much and we have kind of the same um color and she bought exactly the same uh, two so that's why i also bought mine in the same shade so the first shade it's a little bit lighter called cookie dough it's 14n and the darker one that i have it's graham cracker a like graham cracker and the number is 16 g so these two i combine and they are very high coverage creamy concealer i'm really happy with this they don't crease and i usually um set it with my setting powder also from huda beauty uh, so i'm gonna show you how one of them look the other one you don't need to look but it's very beautiful as you guys can see this one is the applicator i have been using it this one is the applicator and it looks a little bit like an eye um, cream or eye gel or eye serum so you can actually put it here i what i do i just put a little bit and then with a the beauty blender i uh, try to pat it under my eye area um yeah so this one is so beautiful and this shade are just perfect for me uh, i'm so happy i got them uh, it's not a lot inside i think it is approximately it doesn't say huh it's not that much but you don't need a lot so you just need a little little bit and it has it goes such a long way so i really recommend this too and I, you know i have been using them i can really really assure you they are amazing the next item that i bought is uh, the anastasia beverly hills liquid lipstick in the shade uh, dolce i wanted this shade for a very long time but it was always sold out when i checked it in um, the states anastasia beverly hills liquid lipsticks are impossible to find in milan and uh, they don't sell anastasia beverly hills anyway in italy not even in switzerland you just can have it in um the states i think in england also uh but it's kind of impossible to find and so when i saw in dubai i thought now i have to buy them so i'm going to show you the color it's a really beautiful color uh, anastasia beverly hills liquid lips are one of my favorites i have different shades i do have stripped uh pure hollywood um crush lovely i think i have and it was another one that I have, Veronica. 
kind of, I think so, it calls like this. Yeah, so the, it looks like this. It's kind of a pinkish color. I thought Dolce was a little bit more dark, but I was wrong. It's a little bit more on the pink. It's literally pink. It's beautiful. Oh my God, I love it. You guys can see. My swatches are very, very bad. I'm so sorry. I check I do it better for you. Mm, that looks better. Oh, they're so creamy. Uh, they make your lips look big, look bigger. Um, they're not uh, like drying at all. They're like beautiful. Look at this color. It's so beautiful. So this one is the pink color. I haven't been using it, so I can't wait to use it. I was just waiting to do this um, haul with you guys so I can try it on. <laughs> Next item, oh my god, I was so happy for this item. This one is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, and it's a liquid lipstick as well in the color Uncuffed. So this one is her new collection. She came now, first she came with the first one with the, the red one that I don't have because I don't really use red, I love red, but on me, it doesn't look that good. So I didn't purchase it. But then she came with three other colors, like a black one, I think, a little bit more on the beige side, and this one is kind of a mauve pinkish color. I love it. Uncuffed, it calls. Looks like this. You guys can see. I don't know if the camera can focus, but I'll show you how it looks. And oh my God, I have been waiting so long for this to come. And now when I saw it, I bought it immediately. And the packaging on this lipstick, it's like liquid lipstick. It's amazing. Oh, I don't know how to open it. No. I show you how it looks. Look how beautiful the packaging is. It's like everything. Look how beautiful. Uncuffed it calls. So I show you how it looks um, with the swatch. Yeah, it's like a mauve pink. It's a perfect color for fall, and that's also why I bought it because I want to use it a ton now. And it looks like this, like a dark mauve pinkish color. And this color, uh, it's like, it's perfect. And the thing is, I tried afterwards to take it off with a wipe. I had to really like try hard because it was staying so good. So I think it will stay like the whole day. So I'm so happy. I can't wait to try. I will try it tomorrow for work, 100%. So the last item that I bought in my Sephora haul, uh, it's the last but certainly not least, it's also a Fenty Beauty product, it's the Fenty Beauty Eyeliner. Um, looks like this, it's beautiful the packaging. I wanted an eyeliner for, eyeliner for a very long time, uh, I did use the Tom Ford for a very long time, I, I adore this eyeliner but uh, I always use it and you know, it's very expensive. I try uh, other ones that are less expensive, but they're not as good. So I want to do this a try because I heard really good reviews on it. The packaging is everything. Look how beautiful. Oh my God, I don't know if you can see, but it's like kind of pinkish uh, silvery. And you just do it like this, you shake it a little bit, look at the point. Oh my God, it's beautiful. And what sold me on it was that it's so black. It's so black. Look at this. It's incredible black. So I really, I can't wait to try. I will try it tomorrow. And I hope it will stay the whole day. Um, yeah, let's hope. You know, I'm really, I'm really difficult when it comes to eyeliners. I also tried the Kat Von D and I didn't like it at all. I tried the NYX ink because everyone said it was so good. It didn't work for me. Uh, Makeup Forever eyeliner. Also try, don't like it at all. It's very black, but it's like, it's not, you don't have any control of it. It's smudging everywhere. So I'm really, really hoping this one is good as the Tom Ford one. We'll, let's, let's see. And if it's not good, I don't care. I will buy the Tom Ford again and that's it. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Now it's done, my haul, my Dubai haul. Um, thank you, thank you so much. Please subscribe to my channel, don't forget and thumbs up, click a thumbs up if you like this type of videos and just ask me any question, uh, write me down below, comment, just ask me anything, no problem. If you have any question of this item, feel free to ask me, okay? I wish you guys a fabulous evening and I can't wait to see you guys soon, okay? Bye!